And so from there it starts to, let's say, then, then um, the rest, uh, the whole uh, entourage, uh, then s slowly, slowly builds up. Um, when, there, when there's an eye, then it needs, when there's a, when there's a self, let's say, then um, whatever that it needs, yeah, accordingly, uh, the mind is, uh, that, that um, state of mind will naturally grasp and create and manifest in various ways of what it exactly requires and needs to have all the experiences, yeah? So, in this case, um, mm, uh, the compounded things that we have to, uh, it's the compounded um, phenomena that we have to examine um, and n knowing and, and finally to know that uh, they are not, uh, let's say, stable, uh, they always change and that uh, it brings a lot of, um, it wastes a lot of time and it brings a lot of confusion for oneself and others. Yeah? It's, uh, it's, it's like the um, uh, object from the, um, uh, from the theaters or from the magicians or from the reflections of, of, of images, let's say, objects, yes? Although it is, it, it is very much there, uh, uh, looking like, a, um, like as if it is very much there, in, um, uh, they are tangible, um, but yet uh, um, within, within its uh, or behind the curtains or within uh, within its essence, then if one examines deeper and deeper, they will find that nothing more than a reflection. It was nothing more than a play. It was nothing more than an, uh, than a trick by the magician. Yes, so just like that. So. And that's why I think it, it, it's, it's important that um, uh, for, for all of us, whether we, um, w whether we are already uh, great practitioners or not, whether we are newcomers or not, whatever it be it, uh, this idea of, you know, of um, uh, impermanent is, uh, is something that we need to have it in mind all the time. If you don't, then... Uh, Whatever that we built, whatever uh, accumulations of marriage that we have done, it, all this, all this while in this life, first of all, and in, in our previous lives, of all the merits that we have accumulated, uh, it could, let's say, there is a chance that it could, it could go to waste because of this. Uh, once again, this uh, idea of clinging to something strong, something that is stable, something that doesn't change. Yeah. Of course, for, um, um, for an individual uh, who, um, who hasn't um, this perspective or uh, understanding, um, one will have the, the very general um, idea of you know, everything being permanent and so on, yes? And those are mostly um, very worldly ways of understanding that um, things are permanent, that there is a self, and then, and that, um, and then, and then through that, then it brings um, uh, all the, the confusions, yes? But for us as a practitioner, um, uh, our, um, our greatest obstacle could be that uh, th thinking that the, uh, results of, of our merit, the results of our practice, the results of our effort and meditation. And that result also um, from sometimes not realizing that, that, th uh, that thinking that they are also real, thinking that they are also permanent, yes? A permanent meaning that, um, <clears throat> that there is an enlightened state to reach to, yes? Like, like a place. And uh, I think uh, it, it's, it's, a, um, it's a teaching that uh, is an advice that many great teachers have over and over again um, explained and described and uh, more or less warned all of us as practitioners 
to be careful of, to be mindful of. Everything that we do as a practitioner, yeah, it, it again becomes um, oriented in a samsaric way. And um, if that happens, uh, then it could cause again a lot more confusion that we have had, that we have had already before. Um, before having become a practitioner, let's say, yeah, the same problem could could uh, repeat again. So that's why it's important to know that uh, from the very first step to the last step, uh, the one has to become always be mindful of this impermanent um, or ever-changing uh, nature of of some subtle, let's say, of of the phenomena, of the compounded things, basically. If you have that in mind, then uh, we won't have uh, the, um, let's say, although we do need the drive to reach enlightenment, but uh, we won't look at uh, enlightenment or the realizations as, as a goal, uh, as a trophy, yeah? <laughs> mm. <clears throat> of course, we all like trophies, yes? We all like we all like achievements. It's 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 uh, nothing. It's it's very innocent. It's it's very fun. Yes, um, but um, it is important to have that that, that perspective. That um, yes, um, there is a no, is, no, no, we do need we do need the drive. We do need the devotion uh, to um, and the awareness to see exactly where we are. And uh, is this suitable? Is this, first of all, suitable for myself? Is it suitable for others? Yes, this we do need, this awareness. Uh, but uh, the enlightenment itself, or, the, or let's say, the, the reaching of, or f free ones of, of, from samsara uh, should be oriented in a way that um, mm, it's not like as if we are escaping from somewhere and then reaching somewhere else, yeah? like a heaven or a paradise or something like that. Sometimes it's very normal that we as practitioners 